Hello everyone, and welcome to Geek's Guide Age of Wonders 3, Season 3. Because last season, as in Season 2, ended in a terrible defeat, and so I decided I'm gonna start it anew again, because because I can, and also requests, and people seem to like to watch me play this game, so let's go. Okay, so I have actually received a request for as to how um, uh, the dude, um, as to how I should do this, okay? So, you know, we just said I'm going to do a large map and have it be land of uh, four players, just the surface. Um, then I'm going to... I'll just set it on average, because maybe it'll, um, no, set that also on few, um, set that also on, no, nah, no, no, no dwellings, um, 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 mm. okay, yeah, that sounds good, alright, then I'm gonna set it up so I can, yeah, customize all the leaders, and then, um, Let's go for advanced. Um, yeah, game speed very fast, very high. Mini always normal. Serve me more combat. Okay. Um, cosmic happenings. Yeah, that sounds good. This sounds also good. Um, yeah. Perfect. All right. So there we go. And then what I'm going to do once I get in here is I'm going to customize a new character, which um. Which, um, was requested, okay? So, if you are wondering about things, then there you go. Basically, I'm just gonna take one of the current... Mm. And I'll just grab up this guy, because he's already got Expander on him. Um... Yeah. Alright. So. Customize. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna customize him, dwarf. Um, and what he's going to be is he's going to be a fire master because that was what I was requested to play as. Sure, why not? They get. Um, the fire master gets a pretty cool spell. And I want his colors. Let's go this sort of light blue. And this sort of red. Er, no. Nope. I don't like it. I doesn't like it. Oh, there's more to choose from? Um, let's go red and black. Sure. Perfect. Lovely. Like the gear. Um, he's good. Mmm. 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 Oh, perfect. Lovely. Um, I'm gonna save him. And he is going to be saved as... Sir... Tyrion Lancaster. Oh. Well, just Sir, Sir Tyrion. And he will be Sir Tyrion Mick Shorty. Can I put short in there? Oh, it's so good. Here in make shorty short. Yeah, I can't add any. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I love it. There, perfect. Um, skin color. Perfect. Let's go. Alrighty then. I hope you who requested this are happy. Now, time to choose. All the other things, um, I don't want to play against a necromancer because they actually have- because I have no experience playing against a necromancer, in all honesty, so let's just choose sorcerer. Um, uh, I don't want to go against a warlord either because, oh, warlords, those, um, 
those war breeds that they have. Oh man, those are such a pain. I hate those things when they are not on my side. Because, you know, they will literally regenerate like 20 health points at the beginning of each turn, and I hate it. Because that will pretty much make any good attack you did on them not matter a bit, and I don't like it. Alrighty, Sertirian McShorty Short. Skill, what do I want? I'm gonna try and Blitzkrieg for more good things. Nope, don't want no hippies. So production for Merc Soul. Is that like Murica? Wait, I can change name. Can I make it? Mur. Murica. Er, yeah, yeah. Murica. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. No, you're no longer Murica. So you're Murica. Don't you forget it. Shattering hammer. Mm, that's interesting. Mm, I may take my building cues one step at a time. Um, first thing I'm probably gonna want is a master's guild. What? What just affected that? Why did it just go down? I don't get it. Is this some weird mechanic? I don't know about. All right, I don't know. All right, yeah, we know. We know how to play this game. At least I do. Oh, what? Very little in the way of dreadnought-based units. Um, dwarves, in all honesty, are probably actually my second favorite race to play as besides humans. Because reason I like humans is because they have a production bonus. Love me some production bonus. And sadly, the, um, the engineers are of no use to me, considering I don't have any machine units, which is really the only thing they're good at helping. Because they have rapid reload, they have flashbang, that's interesting. They have the blunderbuss, and, um, I don't know, there may be a thing where you can get nets or for them or something. I don't know, I'll just have these guys sit here and put the prospector in this secondary army. And our primary army is here. Actually, um, I think what's going to happen is I'm gonna ditch that. Give me the crossbowman. Alrighty, let's set off. And move our secondary army to also begin acquiring resources. While I then put you there. Yep, you stay where you are. Ah, man of fuel cells. Alright, and then we'll get you guys up and running. A couple turns. Oh, you can still move places. How lovely. Um, yeah, you guys can go get some more people. I like dwarves, don't get me wrong, because they have some pretty cool units. For example, the Dwarf Firstborn is a really good unit. The problem is they're not cavalry, so that means they don't get, um, you know, pistols once I do that research, which I really don't like the fact that you can't give them pistols. However, you can use, like, the weapon kit thing on it, but that's not as good because they get this stupid blunder bus. Makes me mad. All right, go. Go, my forces, and explore. Oh, race governance. What can I get? Better crossbowmen, or... Oh, stone walls. More happiness. Lovely, lovely. I like the sound of that. Um... Uh, let's get... Let's just grab basic seafaring, because we're gonna need it. Nope. You're, you, you're not a dreadnought, then you can't be in my army. I'm sorry. Um... I may actually get Warlord, though, because they can get some pretty cool things. You know? Or I could just hire everyone who comes my way. But I don't like... 
maybe I should have. You know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, these guys have a crappy army, but I may just pull them back here so we can have have these guys go and be scouts. All right? New research. Um, let's just grab invention one because I. Mm, I don't want you. America, there we go. It's showing it. See that? Hmm. Yeah. Problem is the dwarves don't have the production bonuses that humans have. Which is one of the reasons I like playing as humans. Because production bonuses. Because dreadnoughts rely on powerful armies and cities. Um, I'm gonna stop fooling around, and I'm gonna go beat the tar out of some some dudes. Oh, I can let them run. I I I'm playing the good guy again, like I've been playing. Before. Well, the mostly good guy. Mm. Take a sip of my water. Oh, my fiery spells. Yeah, fire is cool. But the reason I liked the wind is because they get the secret enchantment. Which, if you put that on, like, your cannons or something, then oh my goodness, it makes it amazing. It's pretty much like giving your cannons an aimbot hack. I love it. Okay, um, I'm going to create a formation. We're going to have a phalanx of firstborn up at the front because they can afford to take some hits. And then we will have the um, musketeers and crossbowmen at the rear because the they can't outflank us, right? They're gonna if they're gonna attack somebody, they're gonna have to. Oh, uh, they're they're gonna be able to outflank us. Mm, but the thing is, if they do go after them, then dwarves will get things, and I might as well put these guys here too because I am smart. All right, let's end turn, let's see what they do. Because if they do that, then they're only gonna be able to really attack the firstborn. And my firstborn can take quite a few hits. Also, they get fire. Oh, look at the, look at those, that damage they do. All right, you, good sirs, have made the mistake of getting close to my ranged guys. Oh, we are gonna musket blast those things right in the face. Oh, uh, that doesn't... Mm. Yeah, I'll bring you over here. Blast him in the face. Goodbye. Dwarf firstborn. Oh, lovely. Firstborn. Lovely. Excellent job, troops. Excellent job. What, what, what's in here? Frostlings? Oh, just frostlings. Mm. Um, yeah, these guys are... Uh, taking a bit of a beating, so... Send all these guys on the ways that I want them. Those guys will just go scout. And we'll get these guys outfitted with proper... With better units. To be... To fill up their ranks. Because I'm not gonna do what, like, the Union Army did during the... Civil War and create just a whole bunch of brigades and battalions. But then, you know, the problem is they don't refill their existing battalions. So that, so they had a whole bunch of like undermanned and undergunned battle groups or whatever they called them. Versus the Confederacy, which just, you know, kept filling up their, their brigades. I don't, I don't even know what they're gonna call what they call them. I'm gonna stop saying words now. All right, our production is going up, and that's with the expansion of our orders. Wonderful. What what does their um, happiness look like? It's tropical and hates blighted. Okay. Temperate. They don't really mind temperate. They hate tropical. J 
Just wait until I cast Suppressed Nature, you know? Ah, Suppressed Nature. Alright, um... Let's keep blitzing until I can get cannons and start producing artillery squadrons. I'm gonna keep exploring. I thought this was supposed to be an entirely land map. That's what I told it to make me. Stupid screwhead map generation. Of course I had water slider. Yeah, that may be my fault. I'm sorry I badmouthed you. Um map generator. Sorry, my bad. I told you to do bad. And therefore it's my fault. Uh, of course, brigands. I hate those guys. They make me mad. I just want to fly up and around and see what's what's about. Alright, gonna... Ha! Silly brigands, you are no match for my prospectors. They will make short work of you. More research? Give me a cannon. America. America. Let's get the shattering hammer. Then I want me a first pool of the firstborn. Actually, no. Um. Okay, get that thing because it gives me more more production. And give me that because 400 total. And yeah, it doesn't change anything. What does the production look like on most things? I can get those in one turn. Yeah, yeah. All right. Go charge my spies. Go and find out what there is to be found out about the land in which we are in. Oh, lovely! Those haste berries. Haste berries are lovely. Oh, there's a necrotic circle there. I don't like those. Dang stupid screwheads think they can raise the dead. You know? Oh! Oh, lovely! Ellen the Disruptor, welcome to the army. Welcome to the team. Let's get you upgraded with some basic resists. Could upgrade melee strength, or I could just go and upgrade the range. Or just give him repair, because I think that will be helpful. Alright, you just sit there, help defend the capital. Yeah, once we get firstborn, we'll start filling out these squads with, um, what do we have here? Ah, we can send you to scout out. Go, go find out what there is to be learned. Um, I think this is, hmm, I may get a hero to command the squad. I don't think I will, though. Select so just three musketeers. Yeah, very short. Very short musketeers. Oh, look at this weird little landscape. Weird little landscape. Oh. Necrotic circles and things. Alright, um, I don't want to go for that. I think I've blitzkrieged up the tree enough. I want to... And, of course, go and do a thing like that. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do this. We're gonna let them run. Shouldn't. Let's go attack them. And we will go and destroy them, and then we're gonna head down there and get rid of those brigands. Going to do that one thing, so then we can get a free upgrade, and then make contact with that city. Which I probably should have done earlier. Yep, you're doing it. Okay, what do you... Yeah, you can only... Oh, but they have the phase ability. Bleh. Uh, they'll probably just try and flank me. Alright, we'll set up the... 
the dwarf phalanx. The best thing I can do is have them have to go a long way to get to me, so that way they won't be able to attack more than once. But then we'll be able to wreck their face come our turn. Because generally, the retaliatory attacks will attacks will do less damage than the you can see they do uh, go and do a thing like that. Oh, don't hit my crossbowmen. They don't appreciate that. They are going to beat the tar out of you now. Oh, they have shields. Yeah, good job. Oh, you can't. Alright. Here's what's gonna happen. You. Hmm. Can you do much? Yeah, you ain't gonna do much damage you, anyway to slice it. Mm, you did a decent amount. I wonder, can we take him out? Nah, might as well just will down that guy some more. Alright, go. Tap him. Alright, dwarves, fight. Now, fight that guy. You still didn't kill him, did ya? Mm, I think it would be wise to just do this. Oh, you got him with a static shield. Um. Yeah, I'll be able to kill him. Go. Don't tell me you got static shield shielded. Yeah, I can't cast anything, because he, he just... Alright, well, he's gonna have an opportunity to attack those guys. Yeah. Alright, die. Oh, you guys live up. Live up. Live up. Alrighty, more knowledge. Researching things. Hmm, modern warfare training sounds lovely. Let's bring you guys down here. You guys can heal up on the way. I may want to swing by there first, but I think I want to. Dwarves like mountains. You know? I wonder, do are there any misty mountains? You know? Because, you know, dwarves like to live. Oh, that's another dwarf settlement. Let's go talk to them. Sup? Okay, we can't go make contact yet. Alright, you continue along the land. Oh no, and Blight. I don't like Blight. It's not my friend. Yep. I knew they were, I knew they were gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Basically, engineers will get the sabotage just, just <laughs> anyone hog rider I have severely underestimated you I just left you for dead but you didn't give up I applaud you I do very much applaud you alright let's go um, keep, keep going mmm now we'll see what we get. Or, you know, no, no, no. Yeah, throw that. Artillery. Yeah. We can start building up artillery squadrons. Yeah, I get that mana. That's good. That's good. And oh my goodness, I'm going over time. You know, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe, just, just go. And you guys won. Good job, dwarves. Maybe I'll do hour-long episodes. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, but the thing is, um, would you guys be willing to do that? But in the meantime, it's just going to be like 20, 25 minutes long a piece so thank you everyone for watching this episode of geek's guide to i want to say fallout 4 but i'm not going to age of wonders 3 season 3 mind you and thank you everyone and good night everybody